M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos learning the Rabtel RT4D DMR VHF UHF radio. Today, let's use the software to program some channels into our device. Firstly, go to the Rabtel site just here on the right hand side. Scroll right to the bottom, and you've got the software just here RT4D DMR software. And I just downloaded the top one. Okay, there's a few selections. There's also new firmware which I will be updating and the newest one looks like it's 3.12. The firmware in my radio is 3.06. So I will be updating it and there is a change log on that. So that is for a separate video but they've added zone function, enter your corresponding area, selection menu A, all kinds of bits. I'll, I'll copy and paste that everything there into the description of this video. On the left, a uh, useful Facebook page, and I'll be posting everything I do on this Facebook page and my Facebook page. The reason the screen is quite dim is because I've turned the backlight off as it's very, very bright. Um, you do need a Bowfung cable to program with the software, so I've just got one in there, just a normal UV5R uh, Bowfung, not UV5R, sort of the DMR type cable. Uh, one came in the box of mine otherwise use those all in ones again i'll put a link in the description for the cable you need so when you download the software although i have run it i will just quickly download it just click here cps i think we'll go for the one that's lower down and uh, that's got the, the i'll just do this one okay uh 41130 it goes to your downloads click here downloads Click your CPS, that's the window, you get the advertising, of course. And then just double click and then run it, look. Okay, and you've got some details there. There's even a CSV template, that's interesting. I didn't know we had that. And mine seems to be, seems to have a very good uh, list of contacts. What, I'm, what we mean by that is that when you, when people speak, you're seeing their location and their call signs ETC on the screen. So that's interesting. Again, all these links are in the description. So download that, double click CPS and run, and then just go next, 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 next. And uh, well, mine doesn't look at it, it instantly appears. Okay. So here we are. So open up your software. And then on the right here, we've put in our radio name, which is our call sign and our DMR number. That's very important. And we need to send that to the radio so it knows what, what to use. So right click on the Windows Square, Device Manager, and then look for your port number. Double click Ports, and there it is there, COM2, look, COM2. So we know our COM number. So then what you do is you go program com com to yes and then you go read and i would definitely read the first time you ever do this so you've got your dmr number in nothing else i'm changing on this window power on i did add the word ham tech there but i didn't change anything there we will look at the boot up logo but i think the most important thing here is just to start adding some channels so let's go to that, the channel and the first one i've added is my hotspot so double click that on the number one. And what you'll find is that there's not, even though you've got our arrows here on the right, a new window doesn't open. It just shows you it at the bottom here. Okay, so first thing is get your frequency in, receive, transmit, choose if you're gonna be digital or analog. Um, power I've kept low because it's in this room, the hotspot. Don't touch, I haven't touched scan add. Hotspot 91, and that's because it's linked to a contact or talk group 91. So that is important that you create a talk, uh, a contact. So once you get to this point, go to contacts here. And these are just the few that I've added. So very important that if you just want to talk on normal talk groups, that you create a group call. So let's add a new one. So number seven here, we'll just go group call. Click here down and just select group call. If you select individual, that's calling someone's DMR number direct or a command. So group call, then give it a name, a name that you're gonna remember. <clears throat> so I'm gonna call this one chat two, because I know that chat two is um, talk group number 2352. And remember, it's all about numbers with DMR. 
you've got a DMR number, the talk group has a DMR number. The reason it's group is because everyone can join it. So we've just created chat 2352. So if we go back to the channel here, and remember your channel is just a long list of channels that you can pick from and then add them into your zones. Uh, so zones is another thing I'll show you. So if we go back to that channel we were just doing at the top and it sort of highlights it in grey and you'll see that at the moment I've told it to contact the talk group number. Look here, contact number worldwide. But look at the bottom there, we've got chat too. I could have selected that. So you get the idea that when you transmit, it will transmit on that group and receive. So then if you look at the at the top here, you need, you need a, in my opinion, you need a receive group list. So I've created one there called M0FXB. So if we go back to your receive group list here, and then you need to just tap on one, give it a name, and then you can add everything that you want to receive into that group. So these are all different zones, sorry, contacts that I've created, you know, 2352, then we've got 2351. These are basically talk groups, and I've added them in here. Look, I'll get another one now, look, add. I find that if you don't do that, you don't hear anything. So you've got your group list, and you they're the ones you the contacts I just showed you here that I created and you push them into this pot selected members and you add them in so it will hear them all so okay back to channel so once you've created your channel then you need to put it into a zone so you can find it so if you go to zone here these are the so I've created lots of zones look you've got zones are buckets of channels groups of channels so you can easily find them on the radio you turn on the radio you, you select which zone you like and inside that zone are the channels that you've been creating that you've decided are going to be in that particular zone. So I put my hot spots on the first one, my open spot on the second one and notice that look now we're on open spot. There's only one channel in there because I only wanted to put one in there at the moment. Then we've got repeaters. I've even done one there for airband. So to put them in the middle section is all of the channels that you have created, every single one. Yes, yeah? so there could be, I don't know, how many to go to? A thousand just there. Um, way more than you'll ever use. So in the channel list here, you create these channels so that when you go to zone, you can put those channels into a zone. Um, and it's the whole point of zones is you'll, you'll confine things easier. You can give them titles, repeaters, open spot you could call one simplex here yeah. don't let the word zone confuse you call it simplex and then i could create a simplex channel if we just go here go 145.525 on two meters analog choose analog you can, you can do digital but analog and then leave the power and i could call that simplex 525 yeah there is a it's called actually called s21 but anyway and so if I go back to zone, the Simplex 525 channel should be there somewhere. It's like gone selected channel. Where's it going to go back to channel? Did I save it? No, I didn't save it. So let's do that again. Simplex 525. Enter. Okay. Go underneath. There you are. It's there now. So we go to back to zone it's there now so I can put go to my simplex zone I can I need to save these simplex and then click the one underneath right it's there so I can go to my simplex zone and I can go to simplex and add it and now there's a zone there and as you go you need to save okay otherwise you're going to lose all this just go save and then it you're allowed to name the file but I've got old ones there just give it a name and save so you don't get lost so at the moment, we've got all these channels. <clears throat> that was a digital channel, and it's pretty much the same for every digital channel, even if it's a repeater. We've got this one down here, which is a repeater, and it's the same, but I use a different DMR slot and a different color code. I will show you in the first one, actually, that because this is important. When you're selecting your slot, DMR mode, dual slot, you want to turn that off and then choose your slot. If you don't know what slots are, it's basically there's two halves of the channel. You're using one half, OK, and you're telling it which half. And then color code is like a filter um, and, you know, different channels have different filters. There goes my phone. 
So as I said, it's really important that you do dual slot off, choose the slot you're going to use, very important, and also put it into the receive group. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So let's move over to an analog channel. So we've moved across here. We put the frequency in, as you can see. And if it's a repeater, as it is, say, further down here, we've got GB3ZB here. Let's just type that in. GB3ZB. Now, this is an analog repeater. And the transmit on this one is 438. We need to get it right. 438 dot four two five and then we have a tone here so if we go down here there's no receive tone but there is a transmit tone this opens up the repeater everything else looks fine and we can put that into a zone so we'll go to zone look for my repeaters and just here and then we'll look for zb and we can send that in uh, now I've got GB7FI here, that is a digital repeater. So what I would do there is create multiple channels with different uh, with different talk groups. So if we go to GB3, GB7FI just here, make sure the transmit's correct. And this one I've linked it to contact number nine. Nine tends to be good for manual dial. So you create nine and then you use the radio, radio to type different talk group numbers so if you look behind my radio that is gb move out of the way gb7 fi 430.8875438 uh, it does have a 7.6 shifts but you you put that in by typing the different frequency but also notice that notice that the 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 color code is set at three it's definitely written here written here somewhere there it is there three and then it says time slot one or time slot two so time slot one it makes sense to use that so we'll do that so we just go here the transmit is 438.4875 and then at the bottom we'll just do time slot one as it says and color code three and as we go like i said we'll keep saving this because Sometimes you just get a bit lost, so there I saving it like so, and then save. You'll be glad you do this as you go along. So we've got simplex in there that we talked about, analog, digital. And remember, you can flick, switch this radio when you're in VFO mode by pressing the hash button. You can switch it into um an analog and digital if you create a, a function button and you can see that with your keys there uh, you'll see the different selections you can use for your your button so fs1 which is the button underneath the ptt it's um i've turned it on for i've asked it to do the the spectrum if we go to say fs long press let's see if we can do digital analog which look for the word DA at the beginning. That's why that's what it says. DA. Can't find it now. And there it is there. So it's it actually says the word analog. I had it just then. It, on the radio it says DA, but on here it says analog and DMR switch. Okay. So we're going to save that. Handy for when you're in VFO mode. Yes. And then I'm going to write that to the radio like so when i normally use the radio i will use the backlight it's just in the video it completely obliterates the camera so i think that's about it so just looking across you've got channel zones contacts with the power on now that's quite basic if we go to where was it let's flick through on the config here, look, config one page, we've got the zone, I've selected zone mode, which I find works well for me. But if you want to use channel mode and then go flick through channel memories, you can try it that way. I, I'll probably do a separate video right now. I know that, that zone mode works for me. But on the B band, I have asked it to use channel mode and then the alias is the name and show the name rather than the frequency.
and the same goes a range B zone. And I'm confused why it's just numbers. But anyway, six bits. So I think that's enough for this video about programming your radio. I want to do a completely separate video on importing and exporting contacts because this radio has come with the contacts installed. And um, I'll just quickly show you it in action again and then we'll end the video. You can see it's showing the um, information there. I didn't load the CSV on, but it's got all the information of all the contacts. So someone has. And that's straight from the factory version 3.06 firmware. Bye for now. Firmware update next.